Welcome to Arduino course by Robojax. This course is based on SunFounder 3-in-1 Arduino kit sold on Amazon. Everything that you learn in this course is included in this kit. The course comes with tons of components and projects all with instruction and video for smart car and other projects that you can use for school or home automation. You can purchase it from sunfounder.com. The kit also comes with full documentation, code download, learning projects with full explanation, wiring diagram, and the code that you can download. The link to purchase the kit and documentation is below the video in the description. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to download and install Arduino IDE or Arduino software. Then I'm going to show you how to get around and get familiar with Arduino software. Next, I'm going to show you the documentation from Arduino official website so you can get help every time you need it. Then we're going to look at SunFounder documentation page so we can download all the code and look at the projects wiring diagram, all the information that is available there. Let's get started with this. To download Arduino, we will come to this website, arduino.cc, and click on software. And here we will see the download area. Here are the options for Linux, Mac, and Windows installer. I'm using Windows. I'm going to click on this Windows 10 and newer, but you can select also the zip. Zip will not install it. It will be just a, an independent folder where you can move it all the time. But if you want to use this one, this will be on the program files. I'm going to click on this. And this screen might change or might be the same, but here if you want to make a donation, click a donation, contribute, or just click download. The pop-up will come. Save it in your computer, in my case, inside download, and then I'm saving it. It takes a few seconds or minutes, depending on your internet speed. After that, you can click and download. Because I'm using, Crow, uh, I'm using Firefox, I'm seeing it in here. So, but in your case, it might show here, or it might show, if you're using Chrome, it might be in here. Doesn't matter, just click, open it. And, accept the license agreement so this is a warning from my system yes agree it asks you for the location don't worry just say install Installation is complete. Click Run. Let's see. This is Arduino IDE now installed. After installing Arduino, you can open it from your desktop or just go to your start menu and type Arduino. You will see Arduino. Let's click and open it. The, this is the main Arduino IDE screen. Let me show you the menu and then we will explain the rest. We have File, Edit, Sketch, Tools and Help. These are the main menu. Under the file, we, have cr we can create new sketch. If you click, we will have 
If I click here, we can have new Arduino sketch here. If I click open, it gives you option to go and open a saved project. If I click examples, under examples, we have uh, main category. You will have more depending on the options that you install later. But in this case, number one is basic. This arrow shows that we have options. Under this option, this is an example. If I click, it will open here. So this is a program or a sketch. The same way we have more under this, we can open any of those that we want. They are available. There are hundreds of uh, projects available. If you want to do something here and save it, click File and Save. If you want to save it under different name, click Save As. And if you go on Preferences, this is the most important one. From here, we have options. This text that you see, I set it to 25. I can go for 14, for example, and click OK. The size will become small. I'm going back to Options. And then Scale Automatic, the interface, 100%. If you want the interface to be larger, for example, 120, you can do so. All the text, all these icons, size will increase. For this tutorial purpose, I'm going to put it always at 150%, so the recording on the video on the screen will be uh, large. From here, we can select also dark, light. For example, if I select dark, the screen will look like this. And then we have these available languages for the interface. So you can select your own language. For example, this Czech language is the third one. Let's click. It closes and opens. And all these menus, you can see they've changed to that language. But I know the preferences in here. I can click and then come back and select English. Under the edit, we have a lot of options, sketch and tools. We are going to work with these and give you an example later. But help getting started is in here, environment, troubleshoot, reference, the rest. And also, you see at the top, it shows the IDE version. But if you need to know the version, under the Help, click Arduino IDE. And it will tell you the exact version, date, and other information. So though you can see that if you need to copy or debug it. This icon is to verify the code that you have. And, and this is for uploading the code to your Arduino. The rest of options, or if I click here, this is for it says a sketchbook. Uh, and all the sketches that you have or, or work with, they will be displayed in here. From here, you can sel select the boards, different types of board that you can work with. This is for library. All the libraries will be shown. We will talk about those. And this is for debugging. And this is for search, all these icons. Uh, from here, also, we can select the board, the port for the board. On the right side, this is called Serial Plotter. Could not open at the bottom, you see, because I have not connected any board yet, which are, we are going to. And this is Serial Monitor. Again, this will open if you have a board connected. Now let me connect the Arduino board to Arduino for the first time. Plug it in. And then this will go to your computer. So I plugged it in. Now this is plugged in. And by default, this is a blank program already loaded into this device. So you can see that it is blanking. But we have to make sure that driver is working. On your Start menu, which is in here, Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can see here, right click, go to Device Manager. And then under the port, you see here, click to see the Arduino Uno name here. We must see it, and it says COM4, C-O-M-4. Now, if I disconnect it, 
you will see the COM port disappeared. Now if I connect it again, the COM port is showing and that is what we use number four. And in here, first we have to select our board, click and you will see the board here and the COM port. Also you can go to tools, board, and then from or Arduino AVR board, from the list select UNO. Once the UNO is selected, we know that we are working with this board, then go to file, uh, go to tool, port, and you will see port number four, we select it. So the port number four is selected, and now we can send whatever we write, upload it to this board. When you come to Arduino.cc website, there is documentation page, and we can go Arduino docs, and then the, the rest, let's go one by one. Arduino doc, this is a documentation page, where which will give you different options based on your board. The board that we are using is Arduino Uno R3, revision three, and when I click here, then the rest of the option will be available. If, if we go on getting started, it will take you to the getting started page one by one. And again, it will first tell you you can code online or you can code with Arduino IDE. And here there is an introduction to what Arduino is used for, which we, are, we will cover in our course. The most important part that we will need is this reference. If I click on reference, Every function, everything that we mention in Arduino code, it will be in here. So this is a great resource and I will come from time to time when, when I teach you. So don't worry, I will not going to go through this here. For example, if I click on this function, it will mention what it does, reads the value from a specific digital pen, either high or low, and the syntax it means how you are going to use it. We will type digital read. This is case sensitive. You must write it as is. And then inside this, you will put the pen. And then the pen is explained here what it is. And then return. If it returns anything, so it returns high or low. And then they will give you an example and uh, some notes of warning or whatever. And if there is anything example or related other stuff will be shown below it. From here, you can go back to digital IO, to function, to language, to reference. So we can see the rest of uh, the stuff and it will come back here to this page. Uh, from the left, we can collect see all these functions, variables, the same page will be scrolled up and down for you. If we click again on documentation, underneath is built-in example. So these are all built-in examples that we have. And under Arduino IDE, we have basic, we have digital, analog, communication, control structure, sensors, display, sorting, USB, and Arduino ISP. So for all of these, we have different, for all of this, we have different sketches available. For example, under basic, we have analog read, analog serial, analog read serial. So if I collect this, here is some explanation and what it needs and here is the wiring again explanation schematic and then the code explanation and then the full code is available this is exactly the same code that we have let me open arduino ide if i go to file examples basic analog read This is, the, this is the exact code that is on the documentation page.
We have also a community and forum. If you go on community, for example, forum, click here. And here you can click an account here by clicking at login. And you don't have an account, create a new one. Once you create an account, then you can post your question here and people will answer it. Of course, you can click on help and getting started or from here you can go directly to the reference by clicking on the reference. This is the Sun Founders 3-in-1 IoT smart, smart Car Learning Kit documentation page. You will visit it by typing the address that that is shown here so easily you can come to this address here we have basic information and also link to the projects that you can do with this kit all of them and on the left side it says list of components these are list of all the components that comes with the kit and then we have getting started with Arduino page and then download kit and the code so here this line from here you can download the three in one kit for arduino just click and as you can see it is coming save as i'm going to download and then create a folder So inside that folder, let's just save it. Now it has been saved. Click to open. I'm using Microsoft Edge. This is the latest one. Excellent browser. Just double click and you will see this folder. Right click, copy and then go back one step inside the main folder, download. So here we can paste it. Right click and then select paste i'm using 10 so click ctrl v or paste so the code is now in here core project iot project learning project scratch project and in each you can double click and if you click on core project for example you will see these are the project obstacle avoidance module, ultrasonic, follow your hand, self-drive. So this is all related to the car. IoT project, connect, push. So these are all IoT projects. Learning project, these are all projects for learning. So, so we have all of this and let's go for learning project number one light LED control here is a and if you double click on the project Arduino IDE 2.0 will open and you will see the code click on learning projects you will see the projects one by one here again listed but let's see hello LED if I click on this we will see the explanation schematic wiring and then the code how to do it and here is the actual code where you can download the code or, or open the code let's see if i click on open the code it goes to arduino cloud which we are not using at the moment and if you scroll down each section have been explained fully what they do and from the next and previous we can jump to the next project that was there about beep and wiring and code